Hi everyone, how are you doing? How have you been feeling? In the past episode, I talked about how to feel what you feel effectively and some ways to identify the triggers that make you feel in that way as well as what happens as a result of those feelings. I hope these exercises so far have guided you to a better understanding of your feelings. Again, feelings are valid and it is normal that you feel in that way. What we want to do, what we want to achieve here is to experience our feelings fully. We don't want to put much effort in controlling how we feel. Our aim is to focus on the actions we can take to live our fulfilling life while acknowledging a variety of feelings we experience. So in this episode, I want to focus on identifying our own values that would guide our behaviors. Let's start with this question. What do you really want in your life? What do you want to make it? How do you want to make it? Deep down inside of your heart, what are the most important things for you and your life? These questions will guide you to the journey of finding your own values. Values are your deepest desires for how you want to live your life, the way you want to make and keep relationship with world, people, and yourself. Values describe what you want to do and how you want to do it. So how do you want to behave toward your friends, your family, and your work? In this exercise today, in the next episode, I will help you identify your own values in the four important domains of life. A, relationships. B, work and education. C, leisure. And D, personal growth and health. So today, we will focus on the relationships and work and education. And this exercise was adapted from a book, The Happiness Trap by Russ Harris, based on the ACT approach. While you are doing this exercise, keep in mind that there is no right or wrong answer. Values you identify today may change over time, and it is okay to do so. Imagine that you are in an ideal world and you are identifying your values. That is our start point. If it is helpful, please take a piece of paper to write down your values. Now let's focus on the relationship. Okay, so let's focus on the values you have in relationships. It could be with your partner, parents, relatives, friends, and any social contacts. Let's ask yourself these questions. What kind of relationship do you want to build? How do you want to behave in these relationships? What personal qualities do you want to develop? How do you treat others if you are the ideal you in such relationships? What kind of ongoing activities do you want to do with these people? Write down um, what comes to your mind onto a piece of paper if it is helpful. Feel free to ask the same questions for certain relationships. For example, your values on family may differ from those on your friends. Now, hopefully you have identified some of your core values in relationship. Now let's move on to the domain of work and education. So let's focus on the values you have in work and education. It could be your career, education, knowledge, or skills you want to develop. Now ask these questions. 
what personal qualities would you like to bring to the workplace or school? How would you behave toward your colleagues, co-workers, fellow students if you were the ideal you? What sort of relationships do you want to build in the workplace or at school? What skills, knowledge, or personal qualities do you want to develop? When asking these questions, you may want to identify your values in each category of work and education, such as school, workplace, and so on. Now that you have a better sense of your values in relationships and work and education, reflect on those values. What are the actions you can take right now based on your own values? Either it, is, it seems like big or small, every action that is guided by your own values is meaningful. Can you come up with one action you can take until the next episode based on your values identified today? If you have one, then do it and see how you feel after it. All right, wrapping up this episode, next time I will talk about our own values in two other important life domains, personal growth and health and leisure that would guide our actions to take. At CAPS UCF, um, crisis service is available at 407-823-2811 and press 5. You can find more resources for coping during COVID-19 at UCF CAPS website or social media. Thank you so much for listening to my episode.